Hi, so I want to demonstrate here the difference between a live and extract data source here. So what I'm going to do is post the same type of graph here up to Tableau, one as a live data source and one as an extract. So as you can see here, I have a graph that is by year. And if you look at the database, I am using a SQL Server database. I am doing it by order date. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to update the order date after I've posted this live data source. So when I go to the live data source, you'll see I've selected live. And here in the sheet, I am going to go publish the workbook. And when I publish the workbook, I am going to call it live data source. And the data source embed it, and I am going to embed the password here. And I am going to go ahead and publish. And as you can see here, it's done publishing. And if I go into my worksheet here for the live data source, you'll see that it is the same exact. Now I am going to edit the data sources. So what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to update in, in the database the dates here. So I've updated the dates and I've added three years to it and you'll notice the order date now starts at 2016. Now what I'm going to do is I am going to hit refresh and what you'll notice here is that it updates live the data source. Now I'm going to contrast that with a extract so I'm going to go back to my same worksheet here and I'm going to click on extract and this is okay I'm going to go to the sheet and I'm going to save my extract and I am going to go ahead and publish the extract or publish the workbook up to the server so right now what it's doing it's retrieving the extract locally to my work area where I am working on this Tableau work, workbook here. I'm going to click on the server and I am going to publish workbook and I'm going to rename it to extract data source and allow the refresh access and here I am going to pick a schedule for the extract schedule and I am going to say publish and now this data source is published notice the name here is extract as compared to my previous so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click here and you'll notice it starts at 2016 which is what the extract was now I'm going to subtract or I am going to add another three years go back up to my Tableau instance and I'm going to go to the live data source now and I'm going to click refresh and you'll notice now it starts at 2019 because I added the three years now if I go to my extract and I hit refresh you notice nothing changed so that is really the difference between the extract and the live data source now this will change after 15 minutes after the extract is updated so if I go to my schedule and I'm gonna force a run of the extract 
and I'm going to go to my status background extracts and wait for the extract to finish running so I forced a update of the extract and you'll notice here that it is being kicked off and it's pending and so what I'm going to do here is refresh make sure that the extract is done notice both of those are done and I'm going to go back to my content click on default click on the extract and it might be a little bit stale but when I hit refresh you'll see now it's updated to the extract which is the same as the live here as you can see the live and the extract is the same so that is ha uh, the difference between a live and extract and also when you force a run of the schedule it will refresh the extract and uh, that's really it uh, please subscribe and thank you for watching